In this video I'm showing how to mount a Cisco wireless access point to a drop ceiling grid. I'll be doing this demonstration with a Cisco 2802i access point, but the steps are similar for just about all the models. And I'll be using the standard Cisco mounting brackets that are included in the boxes with the APs. I'll start by explaining how the brackets work. The mounting hardware consists of two pieces. One is this smaller clip that snaps around the ceiling grid, and you also get this larger plate that the AP slides onto, as well as the screws to put the two together. The smaller part of the mounting bracket is pretty simple. You just slide the two halves away from each other to create an opening so that you can fit these teeth around the ceiling grid. Then you just slide it back together so that it holds onto the ceiling grid. Alright, so over to the ceiling now, you can see that I'm starting with a bracket open. All you have to do is fit the teeth around one side of the ceiling grid and then squeeze the bracket together. Up next is the plate that the AP slides onto and the four mounting screws. And just a quick observation here, it seems like the most common type of ceiling grid is going to have you using the B screw holes here. As for the orientation of the mount, the cables for the access point are always going to come out on this side of the plate that has the extra metal here. So make note of that if aesthetics are a concern and you have to conceal the cables. At this point, I'm going to use the four small screws to attach the plate to the clip that's snapped around the ceiling grid. And again, the screws here all line up with the B-hole. <laughs> now it's time to mount the access point. And again, note that the ports on the access point here line up with the extra metal on the plate here. From there, you just position the access point on the mount and slide it into place. Alright, so pretty straightforward. This is what the finished install looks like. Of course, it's never just installing an access point and not running a cable to it, so I'm going to include a small tip here about how to fish the cable through the ceiling tile. Back at the ceiling here, I'm going to remove the access point and move the mount to the side so I have some room to work with. The best place for the cable to go is probably in the corner of one of the ceiling tiles, but I've already got the mount facing in this direction, and we're just talking shop here anyway, so you get the point. I'm going to take my pocket knife and cut a small triangle out of the ceiling tile here. And you don't need too much, just enough so that the cable doesn't prevent the ceiling tile from laying flat. From there we just fish the cable through the hole we made, connect the cable to the access point, and then reattach the access point to the mount. And with using this method, you should be able to put the ceiling tiles back the way you found them, and have the cable concealed behind the access point. Alright, that's it for this video. Hit like if it helped you out, and be careful on that ladder.